Hello everybody, welcome to the second Selfie Sunday. Today I'm going to be talking about to start or not to start my official business right now. I've been doing a lot of research about whether or not I should start my business because I have a particular name that I want to use for my business that I'm not going to say because I don't want it to get taken. <laughs> um, but I'm afraid, like I just said, that if I start using it without being an LLC, I'm afraid that it will get taken. Um, not because it's just that good, but because everybody is starting their own businesses nowadays and um, I just want to make sure that the business name that I start out with is a business name that I can progress with. So I want to make sure that the name that I am using is a name that will grow with me throughout my doula journey. Because um, there's a lot more things that I want to do besides just being a doula. Um, I actually want to take a workshop soon um, to become a lactation educator, um, which is one of the first steps that you can um, take to become a lactation consultant. Another thing that I want to do is take a workshop on childbirth education because I do eventually want to become a childbirth educator, but I know that that takes a lot of work and that it takes more time. So I want to do one thing at a time. Um, right now, since I'm in the process of my doula certification, I want to complete that before I go too far into um, becoming a childbirth educator. I, I do plan on taking a workshop um, at the Simpkins Center for Allied Birth Vocations called Foundations for Best Practice in Lactation Care. Um, after that workshop is done, it's a five-day course. After I complete that workshop, I will be considered a lactation educator, meaning I would be able to teach um, classes to the public about lactation and breastfeeding. I want to take this workshop to become a lactation educator because it's very important to support mothers and other parents during that first year of breastfeeding. Um, it, especially in the African American communities and black communities because there's such a low rate of um, successful breastfeeding and I want to you know help and assist and educate while being able to refer them to a lactation consultant if they need any more clinical support. The reason why I'm struggling so much with deciding whether or not I should start my business now is because of the financial reasons. Um, I'm struggling to understand, based on the research that I've done, how to deal with the finances, like how to set money aside for taxes if I'm not an LLC. I know that I've gotten some advice on to just start up, a cre uh, not a credit card, a debit card, and all the money that I get from my business, or my doula services, because I'm not a business yet, all of the money that I get from my doula services to put into that bank account and have that be my business bank account. Um, and then to have a savings account attached to that to always save 30% for taxes later on in the, um, during tax season. And I think that's, that's really good. That's really, um, that's a really good idea. But the thing that I am constantly thinking about on top of that is the liability aspect of my services. Even though I'm not clinical in any way, I can still be considered liable for anything that happens to the birthing person um, during her labor based off of the support that I'm providing. So I want to make sure that I'm safe and that I am not, like if I end up getting sued, that it's not going to be my family and my personal belongings that are getting sued that will be in the suing process. So I want to make sure that I have a limited liability company because that means that if I do get sued, it would just be my company that's getting sued and not my personal belongings as well as my husband since I'm married. So I, I that's one of the main reasons why I really, really want to start my business right now because of that like I'm providing services but you know you never can prepare for when something will um, not go as planned and how that birthing person is going to feel about that and they may take it out on everybody that was in the birthing room regardless if you were clinical or not so that's something really important that I'm trying to take into consideration while debating on whether I should start my business. One of the other main reasons why I'm hesitant to start my business is because I'm currently working a full-time job I want to keep the full-time job that I have, so I don't think, like, I'm struggling to uh, figure out how to balance, like, opening up, opening up a micro business and 
having my full-time job because I know that opening up a micro business is a job in itself and you have to be in it 110 percent especially if you want your business to be successful and to succeed you want to do all kinds of things and I've just um, I've been doing a lot of research on things to make it to where your business is successful like um, you know having a website for number one because especially with how techy and how much our society relies on technology now a lot of people refer to the internet for their resources and so you want to make sure that you have a website but not just any website it has to be a good website and you also want to have business cards and a, an email address dedicated to your business and things of that nature you know like even some people even have phones that are particular for their business I want to put myself out there, but I don't want to be getting too many clients um, outside of the time that I can actually assist them. Like, I don't want to be turning clients away. And I know that there are ways for me to make it obvious of like when my schedule is available and when it's not, but it's a little bit tricky because where I work, we have particular workshops that are set, but they can sometimes change. And um, they're, they happen multiple times a month, so I, I have to be there for those workshops, but I also would have to be there for a client that's going into labor. I'm struggling with that aspect, you know, working full time while also having my own business. And I know that I don't necessarily have to open my business right now, and that um, I can just start marketing uh, my services as like. Ness and Bomb Doula services just to like base it off of my name and that's something that I've considered but I'm also just worried in general about how to go away from that when I want to actually start my official business. Um, I don't really know what next step to take. I'm trying to do a lot of research and read books and take webinars and things like that but it's a little it's it's actually kind of overwhelming especially while working a full-time job because I have all of these roles that I have to um, play a part in, like, you know, being a mother, being a wife, being a full-time worker, being a sibling, being a family member, and also being the doula that I, I need to be in order to support my clients properly. So I, I don't want to get overwhelmed, but I also want to take the next step, you know. If you guys have any advice, please comment down below in the comment box. Either whether you're watching this from Facebook, go ahead and comment on the video from there. I just I just need a little bit of advice. And you want if you want to message me personally, you can do that as well. I guess my biggest question would be, how would I um, organize and manage my finances without actually being in a business? As well as how would I protect myself with liability outside of being in a business, like outside of having my own limited liability company? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys can help me in some way and that you guys may have understood or have a better understanding of what um, starting up a dual business might, like what you might encounter while starting up a dual business, the ideas and questions that you might be asking yourself. I know that there are many more that have been running through my mind, but you can only do one at a time. One step at a time, one question at a time, one client at a time. All right, thank you, bye.